10. NASA released an image taken by the Mars Recognizance Orbiter of the Earth and our Moon with its High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment, or HiRISE. Although it may look pixelated, it is quite remarkable given that it was taken from a distance of roughly 1.4 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, or 127 million miles. It's a composite of two pictures taken in an effort to calibrate the instrument. Otherwise, the moon would have been too dark to see in a single exposure. This is a common technique used in photography. Essentially, it's an HDR photo. HiRISE is incredibly powerful, especially when it can resolve features as small as 3.3 feet on the Martian surface from its orbit around the planet. Number 9 Research by the University of Warwick has uncovered an exotic binary star system 380 light-years away, identified as the mysterious White Dwarf Pulsar, the first of its kind ever to be discovered in the universe. Located in the Scorpius constellation, the star AR Scorpii, or ARSCO, is the first white dwarf version of a pulsar. The idea of the white dwarf pulsar was first conceived in the 1960s, but has eluded astronomers for over half a century. ARSCO contains a rapidly spinning, burnt-out stellar remnant called a white dwarf that emits powerful beams of electrical particles and radiation to its neighbor, a red dwarf. This beam emits concentrated radiation in a single direction twice every two minutes. The lighthouse-like beams of radiation and particles produced by ARSCO accelerates electrons in the atmosphere of the red dwarf too close to the speed of light. Thus, the red dwarf is powered by the kinetic energy of its spinning neighbor. The distance between the stars is just 1.4 million kilometers, three times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Number 8 Seven Earth-sized planets have been detected orbiting a small nearby star, TRAVPPIST-1, more than ever detected in any other planetary system. Astronomers first discovered three Earth-sized planets orbiting the dwarf star in 2015. Then, a team led by Mikkel Gian at the University of Liège in Belgium detected the four additional planets. Five of the planets, TRAPPIST B, C, E, F, and G, are similar in size to Earth, and two, D and H, are intermediate in size between Mars and Earth. The system is flat and compact, and planets orbit much closer than Mercury orbits the Sun. The distance between the orbits of TRAPPIST-1b and TRAPPIST-1c is only 1.6 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon, making the planets appear large in each other's skies, in some cases much larger than the Moon appears from Earth. The planets pass so close to one another that there is major gravity exchange going on, thus their orbital periods are nearly resonant. It's uncertain whether any of the planets house conditions favorable for life, for the exception of F, where the density value favors the presence of a layer of ice and or an extended atmosphere. All seven planets are likely to be tidally locked, with one side of the planet permanently facing the star. Exposure to far ultraviolet and extreme ultraviolet irradiation may have caused the loss of as much as 15 Earth oceans of water, depending on their initial water contents. Nevertheless, they may have kept enough water to remain habitable, and the further orbit planets are predicted to lose much less water. Number 7 NASA's Cassini space probe reveals new images of Pan, a small moon of Saturn, is now shown to have a bizarre flying saucer shape. Pan is the second innermost moon of Saturn with a diameter of 35 kilometers across and 23 kilometers wide, orbiting within the Enki gap in Saturn's A ring. Pan is a ring shepherd and is responsible for keeping the Enki gap free of ring particles. The moon was named on September 16, 1991, after the mythical Pan, who was the god of shepherds. This is a reference to Pan's role as a shepherd moon, or a small natural satellite that clears a gap in planetary ring material or keeps particles within a ring contained. Cassini scientists have described Pan as walnut-shaped in reference to the equatorial ridge it has, a trait found on other Saturn moons caused by ring material that Pan has swept up from the Enki gap. It has been referred to by journalists as a space empanada, as well as a ravioli. Number 6 
SpaceX launched a used rocket, making it the first time in spaceflight history that the same rocket has been used on two separate missions to orbit. It went 22,000 miles into space before returning to Earth and landing on a remotely piloted platform in the Atlantic Ocean. Reusing rockets is crucial to making the cost of space travel more affordable. The rocket that SpaceX used during this mission was previously used in an April 2016 mission to the International Space Station. The primary goal was to deliver a communication satellite into orbit intended to provide improved TV, radio, telephone, and internet coverage for South America. Number 5. The first image of a dark matter bridge has been captured by researchers at the University of Waterloo using a technique known as weak gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing causes the images of distant galaxies to warp slightly when affected by an unseen mass, such as a planet, black hole, or dark matter. Their composite image is created from a grouping of lensing images taken of more than 23,000 galaxy pairs, 4.5 billion light years away. The results of these studies confirm predictions that galaxies across the universe are tied together through dark matter and are strongest in systems less than 40 million light years apart. Dark matter doesn't shine, absorb, or reflect light and can only be detected through gravity and gravitational lensing. Number 4. Astronomers report the discovery of LHS 1140b, a rocky super-Earth, in the habitable zone, and it may be the best ever candidate in the search for extraterrestrial life. Observing from Earth, it passes in front of its star once every 25 days. It spans 1.4 Earths and is more than twice the density of Earth. LHS 1140 is a red dwarf star, which usually produce high active flares, which can parch planets and wipe out life. However, scientists say it appears to be inactive. Number 3 2007 OR10 is the third largest known body in the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune, approximately 1500 kilometers in diameter, and is the largest known body in the solar system without a name. 2007 OR10 was first discovered by astronomers at the California Institute of Technology. In 2016, a study of Hubble images taken in 2010 revealed a satellite around 300 kilometers in diameter and orbiting at a distance of at least 15,000 kilometers. In May 2017, further examination confirms this orbiting moon. Number 2 the Psyche mission is a journey to a unique metal asteroid orbiting the Sun between Mars and Jupiter. It was submitted as part of a call for proposals to replace the Discovery program that closed in February 2015. It made the cut as one of the top five finalists in September 2015, and in 2017, it was selected as one of two winners of this round of Discovery mission selection, with launch set for 2023 as the 14th Discovery mission. In May 2017, the launch date was moved up to target a more effective route, now launching in 2022 and arriving in 2026. The Psyche spacecraft will use solar electric propulsion, and the notional payload would be an imager, a magnetometer, and a gamma ray spectrometer. The goal of this mission is to increase the understanding of planetary formation and interiors. Number 1. Construction has begun on the Extremely Large Telescope, or the ELT, an astronomical observatory and the world's largest optical near-infrared telescope. It's part of the European Southern Observatory, or the ESO, and located on top of Cerro Amazonas in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile. The observatory aims to gather 100 million times more light than the human eye and be able to correct for atmospheric distortions. It has around 256 times the light gathering area of the Hubble Space Telescope and would provide images 16 times sharper. The ELT is intended to vastly advance astrophysical knowledge by enabling detailed studies of planets around other stars, the first galaxies in the universe, supermassive black holes, and the nature of the universe's dark sector. 
It will also be able to detect water and organic molecules in protoplanetary disks in other galaxies. ELT is expected to cost 1 billion euros. First light is currently planned for 2024. Hit the subscribe button, like, and leave a comment.